Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome today to EverQuest Landmark. So this is the closed beta access for EverQuest Landmark just before EverQuest Next comes out. So basically this is like sandbox mode, you can go around, gather resources and build stuff. So I'm currently in a tier 1 world, for those of you who kind of don't really know what that's all about, is each world goes, I believe it's up to three tiers. And each world will have a set amount of resources on it, so it'll have copper on it, for example, it might be like tier 1, and then if you go into tier 2, you'll get like, higher value, it's basically like a high, higher value resource that you need for later on, and you can swap between worlds pretty much as and when you want, you can jump between them. And then you can just go around and collect all these resources, and then build whatever you want, really. So, at the start, you... I haven't got like any of like, the founder's axes or anything of that nature, I've just got a basic axe. So you can start mining up all this stuff that's on the floor. So as you can see here, there's some uh, special resources on the floor, which I don't actually think I'm high enough level to mine. No, I'm not. At least I don't think I am. But you'll notice how the ground kind of like wears away on this. It is partially... It's kind of like a voxel base, but it's kind of like an advanced voxel. It's kind of strange to describe. So it looks like I'm just getting stone off this from around it, not actually getting the resource itself. Yeah. Pretty much, so I'm slowly mining my way around it, as you can see. <clears throat> but it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it, actually. The movement on it's very nice as well. You'll notice that the character's got... One thing off, I just found it kind of nice was the fact you have got, like, multiple animations. So it's like them with that roll. I didn't control that. That's me just walking forward. And it's just doing stuff automatically. Like, if you go down hill and stuff, you can start to slide. Like that. And you can have a hell of a lot of fun. You can jump up all kinds of things. It's just pretty cool. It tries to animate lots of different things. Ah, here we go. Here's a resource I can actually mine, which is some copper. Which I do need some of this, actually. So, let's start picking this up. There we go. So, we'll just slowly take all this away. So, for games, if you're familiar with things like Minecraft, and you, get, you get the idea of gathering resources and what that's kind of for. But this obviously looks a lot nicer. And it's pretty cool the way you can chip this all away. But once this game comes out and becomes EverQuest next, you're going to be able to find like underground mines and everything. The whole world's going to be like procedure generated, so everyone will be able to do this. And the world will eventually start to like generate itself after so long, because otherwise, let's face it, by the time you put, turn this into an MMO, there would be no world left in about three days. So it really wouldn't be that great at all. But it, So it will grow back in parts, but you can do what's called making a claim. So you can basically actually claim a part of the map. Let's see if I can bring the map up. So this is the map around me. So these marks here are other people's claims. So I have the ability to make a claim, which I probably will do at some point, but at the minute I haven't settled on anywhere in particular. So you get this pretty cool 3D map. And then each one of these claims, that's your place that you can build, and that is safe. So only you can build and interact there permanently. So, I mean, you can see from here... You can see in the distance some of the other stuff that people have done, which are pretty freaking cool, to be honest. Some people have done some crazy stuff on here, and it's very, very customizable. I'm ignoring a lot of this here, because I'm just going to try and show you some of the other stuff. But eventually this is going to be a full MMO. It's going to have all the full combat in it. I believe it will have dungeons and all that kind of stuff in it as well, as most MMOs generally have. As that this is landmark, so this isn't actually next, this is the closed beta for landmark, which is literally just building. So it gives them time to test a few things, like just basic testing. Um, test the building and how all that kind of stuff works. And yeah. Oh, I'm freezing a little bit. It's trying to render these people's builds. Which, uh, while I'm recording, I haven't taken a bit of a hit. I don't know why it was sliding uphill there, but okay. As you can see, you can pretty much walk up anything, so... There we go. It doesn't usually have these blocks around. I don't know if this person's actually put these blocks around or if that's just because of the way I'd looked at the map. Because I know that guy hasn't got it on there. But you can see. You can go in there and have a good look. It looks like he may have actually put this block around here. I could be completely wrong though. But here you go, you can go in. So then it'll tell you who's there. Feel free to use the craft station. So you can go into an area and you can interact with people's stuff, but I don't you can't like break anything. So you can't grieve people. But I mean you can see here instantly all the kind of stuff you can do. You can make spheres and all kinds of crazy nonsense on this. So this person's got all the crafting stations that you can use, which is pretty cool. I might actually have to pinch some of this guy's uh 
I may have to use his services as he offered, because frankly, I'm going to need to. Uh, let's see. So if I want to get a better pick, I need elemental copper, I need some copper ingots, some agate, and some heartwood. So this tells you which t so all this is tier one stuff. So that's basically what I want to be aiming for is to get a better pickaxe. So I want to get myself some better tools. So is this? Oh right, so oh cool, a grappling hook. Oh that's interesting. Ah, a claim flag. There we go. This is what I actually do need to craft. So I need to get some tier two stuff for that. But a claim flag will actually let you make your claim. Which is some. I think if you actually buy the founders pack, I believe you actually start with one of those. But if you're just doing it the completely free to play route, this is kind of the way you need to do it. Okay, let's just see if I can actually make any copper ingots. I can. So I've got loads of copper. So you need a hundred copper to make one ingot. Well, that's a bit crazy, but okay. So there you go. It looks like it just crafts them all in one straight thing, which is pretty nice. So I needed ten copper ingots, so I'm going to need like a thousand copper. Ooh, well, that's going to take me a while, I would say. Coal. Refining stations, superior smelters. So these are, again, you need tier three stuff there for you to actually make some of these buildings. A lot of these stuff people have actually bought in with, like, um, your founders packs. You can get stuff and it gives you X amount of starting resources. Other than that, people just go around mining for hours on end. So let's just get out this guy's uh, thing. And you can leave people feedback about their builds. I think I will actually, because he was... Uh, oh. Let's just go back inside a minute. I'm going to leave him a little... Claim not tagged. I'll give you some thumbs up. Oh well. Whoever you are, you're a cool geezer. Let me use your crafting stations. I'll probably be making use of that service quite a lot. But you can see the land's pretty cool. And each server looks a bit different. They don't all look as bleak and boring as this. Some of them are nice and green and lush, but... This is, uh... Not such... <laughs> but I don't know, I really enjoy this so far. I think it's a very beautiful game. I could see me when this comes out spending a lot of time on this. To my knowledge, when this comes out, it's actually going to be a free-to-play game as well, which is what I find more surprising. Because you get games like Elder Scrolls Online, for example, is the most recent one that's come out that's going uh, subscription-based. And then you're going to get games like this, where you can do just crazy stuff. You know, with all this craft and everything, having an actual impact on the world just immediately, not like, oh, I've done this quest and it's so meaningful, but it's instant so no one ever actually knows. That kind of idea. Um, and the game forgets about it two minutes later. It's not like that. It's like it, I mean, it does partially forget about it a few minutes later. I mean, that hole I've probably dug now is probably filled in, for example. But, you know, you can actually vividly see yourself having an impact on the world, and I think that... I find that the most interesting. Just that immediate impact. So I'm going to have to do a lot of mining of all this copper and stuff. Oh well. we. So yeah, it's pretty cool though. So if you can get yourself a key, I'd definitely uh, do it. If you, oh, I, I managed to get one off uh, Twitter. So that's usually a good place to go. A lot of the devs tend to give out keys and stuff if you're lucky enough. So I, I was, they were nice enough to give me one. So there's plenty of sites you can follow and stuff that give away keys every so often just for like a simple retweet or something. So you can probably get lucky that way and then have a go for yourself. But it's a pretty cool game. I'm looking forward to when this comes out. So this is closed beta at the minute. Eventually, I believe, I believe, they're going to do it into open beta so you'll be able to download it anyway and have a go for yourself. And then I think while they're doing that, they'll probably actually do the, um, they'll start the alpha and stuff for actual EverQuest next itself which is going to be really cool I think I think that's going to be my MMO that I'm actually looking forward to the most just because the fact it doesn't have a subscription model because uh, me and sub models don't get on that well I'm not a massive fan personally didn't mind them so much when I was a, a bit younger because that was basically when I was a bit younger that was basically if you wanted an MMO that was how you got it it came as a subscription fee but nowadays free to play MMOs equal or in, in my opinion trump <laughs> um, paid ones. Uh, as many of you know, I'm, I'm a big Guild Wars 2 fan, 
and that was completely free. You just buy the box, and then that's it. The game's yours. And I, every so often, I still go back to it now because it's just such a cool game for what you get. So, these this this copper vein goes down deep, doesn't it? Bloody hell! I was just trying to see roughly how deep they go, but this just keeps going and going and going. It's just under the crust. Then, if I've got to get nearly a thousand of this stuff, I'm not complaining. Frankly. Bloody hell, you really do have to dig deep for this stuff. It's still going, but I think <laughs> I think you get the idea. So that'll probably fill in soon. I doubt I would don't know if it would fill in while you're standing here and you'd actually be able to watch it generate back. I doubt it, but so yeah, this is EverQuest landmark. I am going to go and probably start mining all that copper you can see down there. And then I may try my hand at building. But you can see here, you can basically do all these different crazy, so you can do spheres and stuff. So I can actually put down a sphere, for example. So you can use shift and tab to change the scales. You can just use mouse wheel as well. But I think this is pretty cool. And we can do all kinds of cones and all that kind of stuff, as you can see. You can just do your general blocks and things like that as well. But it's going to be pretty cool once all this comes into um, into effect. So here's all the different things you can paint and try out. And there's all my metals that I've got. So I've got a few hundred from that one copper vein. So it shouldn't actually take me that long to gather a thousand of it, in theory. So yeah. Oh, I wonder actually. I wonder if there's any emotes in this yet. Let's try this standard. Yep, there is. There we go. <laughs> right, well, I'll leave it on that note. This has been EverQuest Landmark, the closed beta. If you want to see more of this, if you want to see me just generally exploring, or you want to see me try and build something, let me know, and I will try and get that done for you. And uh, leave me a like if you enjoyed the video, drop me a comment, tell me what you think, or if you want to see more, like I said. Subscribe if you haven't already and you join the video, and go and check out EverQuest Next, because it's looking like a pretty cool game from Sony, so... It's going to be an interesting one. It's definitely one to keep your eye on. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.